Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh, it's me Drakir at your service. <laughs> I'm trying to finish chewing with my food. <laughs> and welcome back to Valheim, our second stream of this, I believe. And yeah, last time we got started in this new world uh, with gear from our old world just to make the well just to not have to grind all the way up to this again <coughs> and uh, yeah, yeah we just we, we took over a village <laughs> that we did though we do have some handicap like we need to we do need to get the food uh, as long we play along up to better quality uh yeah and we were lacking in the in the materials or the equipment over here to repair our current gear but yeah as could be heard from Drakir <coughs> yeah, from Drakir repairing all of his stuff I've managed to fix that by making some anvils and the forest cooler those would take uh, let's see da -da 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 -da. Uh, yeah some bronze that I made and some no not that some copper uh, yeah since last time i mined some more copper uh, i think we had enough tin uh, or had enough tin uh, so yeah i just made some more metals made those and yeah beyond that i put down did i put these down before or after i don't really remember but yeah we have some basic storage i moved the door or changed the door out for a bigger one here and well i tried to wall off the entire base with mixed results because despite all of these being at 45 angle corners uh yeah they still don't want to line up where they meet up and also i they made a little experiment over here for possible uh, smoke exiting also i what speaking of in <laughs> what by the Builder God's name is this? Uh, a failed experiment, or an experiment at least. Uh, also, speaking of smoke, I raised the chimney a bit. <coughs> on the main building. That's looks different. Okay, that explains it. <coughs> uh, yeah, the smoke was still getting trapped underneath. So, I just raised it up. Uh, beyond that, I moved over... Uh, some queen bees from our old world, so we have access to honey and also a bunch of turnips. Yeah, and also, I have a solution for this war problem, and that's... It's, well, first of all, you would need to count, like, uh, it's it basically a hexagon, or just make a square for just making a circle. It's gonna be hard on larger scale. Yeah, we should probably turn this into... Okay, a bit of a stutter there. Uh, we should turn this into a, a square eventually, once we have enough wood and such. Uh, of course, to get the wood for all of this, I had to deforest the area a bit. And I've been mining out that... Uh, <clears throat> that copper rock that we found over here at the cliff. Lovely. Uh, oh, we forget. We did talk about to maybe move base... To the trader? So it is uh, by the coast, but it, it will depend on the terrain and what else is near him by the water. Yeah. Like, like if you can see it was swamp biome with a lot of iron nearby it. Perfect. There is perfect. a bit of swamp nearby, but I don't know how big it is. Uh, it is close to the mountain, though. Uh, let's see, Black awesome Forest, good. Swamp. Yeah, there, there is a bit of swamp nearby, though I think it is a rather small bit, unless there's more inland. Uh, Drakir can't see this map at the moment, since we don't have a cartography table. And yes, I made a bit of a bucket to catch, it, to catch any iron that falls down from here. <clears throat> is it very smart, I say? Oh. <clears throat> okay, for now, though... Um, what shall we do? We didn't really have a plan well, beyond we, to just play this. We should probably make the cartographer table. And we could try to explore over to uh, the trader, but also 
Definitely should try to get the food fixed. Oh, almost before I forget. You know the boar we captured? Yeah. You can breed a one star with a non star and still have a chance to get a new one star. Okay. Is it tamed? Okay, is it tamed? It's tamed. I'm... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Which means we'll just we'll have to find and lure in more boars later. Um Yeah. Two star great dwarf outside. Okay. I think the best method we can do, the best thing we can do at the moment is to make a boat. Then we can travel around and see well, what we can find. Yeah, actually, we need iron. Uh, well, we could make a small one. So I should eat some. There we go. <laughs> We kind of need, and also, we also need tin to make a cauldron. Uh, yeah, and we should also make some barrels so we can actually brew meads and such. <coughs> still recovering, but still improving slowly but surely. Let's see. Same. I, For the boat. I don't really call phlegm anymore. Okay, that's a long ship. We're not making a raft because rafts are basically uncontrollable, almost. Okay, yeah. we need deer hide and bronze and yeah, br yeah, bronze nails. We are one tin away from a cauldron. Oh wait, there's more in here. I will loot it up. <laughs> wait, what? Eleven? <laughs> I guess someone been naughty with the damn thing here. Hmm. Uh, do we have any coal? <coughs> Not. Yeah, we have some in this box here. Okay. Nine. Wonderful. Well, we um. just need to make one that we can make some better food. Okay. Ooh, we really <laughs> need better food. Uh, for now, we'll have to mine more copper then, I guess. And we need deer hide, so uh, Bambi over here is going to get it. All right. Uh, once we have a boat, we should be able to move stuff over and, well, travel to the trader spots a lot faster. Um... But yeah, for now, cartography table and copper. So, yeah, <laughs> going to be a slow start of the day, or of the stream. And we got a cauldron. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, and also another good thing before we want to go to the swamp. Even if it doesn't have, uh, you know, dungeons, it could still be a good way to get the intestines and blood and all that for some potions and just sausages. better food. Yeah, sausage is... How to say this? It's not the best food, but if you can get sausages early on in game, it will help you so much for... You need one bull meat, one fistle and four intestines, and you get four sausages from it. And it gives... For the... Let's say this, if you can get it before you're supposed to go to the swamp, you'll be in a very good position to fight many things in the Black Force and all that. Yeah, since it gives a lot of health if I remember correctly. So I'm getting oh, yeah. harassed by great dwarfs. <laughs> when I was you... literally standing when on my the... head. Oh, bloody heck. I was gonna say, when does one not get harassed by the little buggers? Okay, completely missed that. <laughs> okay, now there's just a grayling running around in panic. <laughs> okay. Need to recover my stamina a bit. And... Yeah, then just continue on while this thing just tries to be annoying. <laughs> Okay. Wait. 
there. Hmm. Yeah, we think we, I think we're gonna need a few more coppers. Then we can make the cartographer table. Then we should be able to, well, try and explore. Yeah. And again, yeah, this won't be our main base, but it's good. A will be a starter base. Yeah. At least oh, we can. I almost forgot that some of the deep, uh, deep de de deposits can be hidden underground. So oh, we yeah. need to excavate a bit around here. <clears throat> So we've got quite a harvest here ready, but I will let the Hillian do the farm work. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the miner and the farmer at the same time. Oh, I actually plan to go come out and help you now. Just gonna make... Okay, this is about that. as low as it'll go here. So part of the deposit is going to stay out of our reach, I guess. Let's see, how much is that already? Only six. Yeah, that's it is. <laughs> if we can get to the mountain and find some onion seed, that will help us a lot. Oh, well, there is a mountain near the trader. Yeah, for we won't, if, we, if we find a chest with onions, then we have some very good stamina food. Okay, there... there <clears throat> I, <clears throat> Again, there's a limit to how low you can dig with the ground, so... Yeah, part of this thing is going to stay hidden, but we still got most of it. Okay. Oh, this is a big one! Probably won't be able to reveal too much over here, but we can still get a bit more. <clears throat> All right, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Riveting we're gameplay. But uh, this is what you'll be doing a lot in Valheim. <clears throat> Since you need a lot of resources. That is the case with basically all survival... Uh, <clears throat> all survival games. Oh, yeah. And you can get rewarded to take in the careful, but... If you do make a new character, do... You can be nice to give them some... Like, at least a belt. For an easier start, or maybe a copper, bronze, or iron axe. Yeah. Just so the starting building goes a little bit faster. Yeah, things so would have been even slower if we hadn't, well, brought along our old gear. <laughs> yeah. We, we take extremely little damage, even when we have so low he health. Says the armor take up, soak up so much damage, but we are still not invulnerable. But we still need some better food. Oop. But there are still things that can hit hard, like trolls. Definitely trolls, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they, they would make way less damage or not at the moment, but they can, they still, still hit hard <laughs> if you're eating poor, bad food. Then it doesn't matter if you have strong armor, if you all just have low health to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see, how low will it go here? Okay, that's the minimum. A bit more here. And that's me at the weight limit. Let's see, I'll just drop a bunch of stones. Any more hidden underneath here? Oh, God. Uh, do you remember those poison bombs you can make? Yeah. We're gonna need them in the Mistlands. Okay, this way. Oh, yeah, there's, just, there's a lot still over here. <laughs> And we've got a shaman <laughs> just looking down on us. <laughs> oh, looking yep. down on us, eh? There we go. 
flat in one hit. Uh, but yeah, we got visitors to the mine. There we go, that has a bit more reach. Okay. Oh, reminds me of something I did the other day in Valheim on my own map. No. Oh. I was mining rock and a mosquito tried to attack me just as I swung down my mine pick and I... I kill it with a mining pick. Yeah, they have really low health, but really yeah, high attack. Are... Yeah, but still, it felt... It was by accident, but it still felt good, since that was so annoying otherwise. Yeah, very vindicating, I would presume. Oh, yeah. And I think one of the new armors, uh, well, not new anymore, came between while we were waiting for Miss Lens, is Root Armor. Uh, the helmet gives poison resistance, and the chest armor gives piercing resistance. It actually gives you resist, basically good resistance against mosquitoes. Okay. Also, we can use this to light things up a bit. Well, I, I love to put that under a rock, when I might under it. Since, yeah, rested bonus, I kept it dry. Yeah, and the fact that we can run into it and set ourselves on fire. <laughs> oh, some more railings. And of course, there was, they are <clears throat> they're running away from the fire. And I think this might be two different deposits overlapping each other. <laughs> yeah, that usually happens. Hmm. However, since it's in on a hillside... Why can't the bait if it's gets good or not? I guess it depends on the hillside if that's a good thing or not. And... And this kind of hillside means we easily he reach this area's max limit faster and awkward manner. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's definitely too, since this one is too high up for the other to well, be a part of it. Let's just dig around the sides of it. And another Great Wharf Patrol. Oh, I reached max weight. Uh, Alright, are we run up? I should probably add some stairs to this as well. <clears throat> What the, the, There's copper up here! Okay... I have a copper! What... What you been doing? I don't know how those got there. Okay... Hmm... Yeah, this would take a hell of a lot longer if we only had the antler uh, pickaxes. Yeah, the antler pickaxes can be good to do the wool cleaning around. Then you use the actual mining with the pickaxe. Kind of a good early game tactic. There. <laughs> okay, the coal is done, it seems. Hmm. <laughs> there. And the rest can go... Wait, was it? Oh, no. There are 15 more copper. <laughs> I think I we're, going, yeah, we're going to need more tin for the, the nails and such. <clears throat> yeah. Got that. Let's see if I can make some bronze now. I only one. <clears throat> I'm just going to put them back here for now. Those stupid things there. Stone. 
Okay, we need six more deer hides. Wood we should have plenty of. Uh, maybe some more fine wood. But as a fallen oak tree outside. <laughs> Put that there and hang these here. <clears throat> okay, let's fast let yeah. let's rest until daytime again. I still can't remember if I've ever had venison or not. I think I have, but it was uh, quite a while ago. Yep, one of the bits is... There we go. I have, <laughs> I have eaten boar and moose before, and... Moose is tasty, and bloody heck, boar is damn tasty too. <laughs> okay, you dream of a mighty bear sleeping deep below the earth in the winter of, you know, after worlds. It turns and sleeps at the... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Day 21. And let's see. I don't think we can use the turnips to cook anything yet. And I don't think we can eat them raw. That we can't. I'll probably make a nicer house in the future, but... Yeah, when we have a proper base, we could not probably have a house that we cook and sleep in and have a workshop separately. Okay. Oh, this key, this is more of a uh, a quick starter base uh, for a small area. Yep. I almost got myself killed from the fall damage, uh, and I should. I forget, you know, forgot what I was going up for in the first place, which was repairing my pickaxe. Oh, you said that. I forgot to repair it as well. Okay. <coughs> okay. There we go. Hell's bell sounding off again. Okay. Um, a cauldron is already made. And how much bronze can we make from this? It is one to two, I believe. Yep. Okay. I'm going to grab the fine wood. Okay, I, I thought bronze nails were 10 each, uh, but no, it's 20. So we have enough nails now. Yeah, but don't worry, we need a cartographer as well, so you can share the map info. Yeah, let's see, that's over here. Yeah, two more bronze, leather scraps, raspberries, oh, and got, bone fragments. I, I need to stuff. test this. I need to test this. <laughs> okay, what are you up to? Oh, come and look for yourself here, uh, west of the base. Okay, give me a second. Oh, Dropping east, I mean off. east. <clears throat> Go, just jump the wall. <laughs> Using it as a crusher. Yep. Okay, let's split this thing up. You know, it's freaking wider than we are tall. Okay, that should be enough for the boat, but not for the boat and the, <coughs> cart the cartography table, I think. But we have another oak over here. I planted these, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Then of course it tips into the other one. Okay. That probably should have hurt <laughs> judging by the size of this thing, but oh well. I think the armor helps a bit. Okay, I've, I have 42. That should be enough. 
I got on suit, on nine. <clears throat> Raspberries. Just the one, though. Yeah, probably should not have been eating those. Uh, we have blueberries over there. We have berries over there. So I can easily go get some more. Also, put these off since they slow me down. Yeah, I think this is probably <laughs> another reason we need to explore. Berries and just get as much food as possible. Okay, uh, put the axe away. So I don't think it does slow... I don't think that slows us down. <clears throat> if I remember correctly... Uh, where are the... Okay, they haven't respawned here yet. I believe the berries respawn every uh, few days or something, maybe a week in-game. Oh, sure. I know they do respawn, yes. Just not how often. Hmm. I'll, I'll check closer to the... <clears throat> I'll check closer to the ritual site. Since we yeah, haven't I... been there in a bit. Yeah, there are some bell bushes around there. Especially behind the rocks. Hey, this is the altar for the deer. Okay, let's see. Get another of those because it's running out. The art style of this game remains simple, but it is just it remains also just very pretty for what it does. Oh yeah, and they recently upgraded the so they, it takes less space to download and all that. So it's made it begin smaller, more optimized, and also heavily reduced the RAM amount it uses even. Okay. So they they even between the updates, they have been focusing a lot on optimizing and quality. This is this is good, I say, for a, even for a small team. Yeah. Okay, mushrooms here. <clears throat> Just grab one of them at least. There you go. Food eaten, my real life food. So now I can give full focus here. Okay, just grabbing the carrots we had at the starter. At the first hut. Here we go. It's another deer. And some more hide. <clears throat> So I'm pretty sure if we hang around here for a bit, then the Ike's here will start complaining at us. But we're not here for that. He might if you have his head. Um, the raw spirits in our base just respond. Oh, well, I picked up one of them. And... That's a miss. Just trying to lead it, but yeah, <laughs> failed at that. Okay. <clears throat> More mushrooms. Oh, already got these tagged. Let's see. Are there any ram. Oh, here's some more raspberries. One, two, and three. So that'll be enough. B for berries. Okay. <coughs> Oop. Another deer. Hey, don't we have any lettuce scraps? Uh, we get those from boars, but I don't think we have any. Oh, we Oop. need those. So I guess we need also to do some boar hunting. Yep. Okay, get another deer gone. And, and that I is enough. Okay. <clears throat> we have enough 
uh, deer hide now. Lovely. Oh, yeah, we need some else bit of food for we barely have any stamina. Whoops, oh, that was a ruler. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'll even was more boars here. Let's see, one better scrap. I need four more. Might as well harvest these whilst they're available. Oops. Okay, there was probably you I heard fighting. Yep. Okay, then. Uh, let's have a look. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Leather scraps, bronze, bone fragments. There should be skeletons Ow. around. I fell off and died from fall damage. <laughs> I was yeah, trying no, to do a run and glide down, but nope, I stepped to the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, no matter how strong you are, you are still going to lose to gravity. Uh, wait, didn't we have another bronze or? I, I, I made, I, I made the two bronze uh, so we can prepare the bronze uh, table. Okay. Just missing the damn uh, scrap. Okay, I put the deer hide in the box, in one of the boxes near the forge for now. Uh, find what we need for the boat. These we can put in there. <clears throat> uh... Yep, we need those. Yep, the raspberries. Oh, I just realized. Padded armor, helmet, padded chest, and wolf leg. We're not using full padded armor. Let's see, Drake helmet, fur, wolf fur coat, padded cuirass, wolf armor legs. Okay, so I, <laughs> I guess we completely forgot that we didn't have a complete set yet. And oh, here's a skeleton. For... Yeah, it, it's still a strong set though, so it's not bad, but probably a good idea to remember that. Yeah, but it also maybe... means we should. Hmm? Uh, yeah, maybe get some uh, silk from uh, the other wolves that, with the farm that we have there. Uh, you mean linen? Yeah, linen. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. So we should probably have our main base in a plains near a mist biome. Not too close, since that's a risk, but just find a good plains area as quick we can build with stone. Then we just make a square stone area for farmland and a house and a smithy. Yeah. <coughs> oh, a bro just wrong. I had a bronze with me. I did not realize that. I thought I left it behind. Oh, uh, well, now we have extra. Thistle. Uh, where? Uh, there. Oh, and I found another copper deposit. Nice. Uh, put this here so it's easily uh. recognizable. Uh, let's see, but I'm looking for... Skeletons. I see a tower. Towers usually have skeletons or gray dwarves. Not gray dwarves this time. <clears throat> oh, here's scrap. We have scrap. Okay. Oh, we missing one scrap. We have we had fine within our birthday box. Yeah, one of the Christmas boxes, you mean? Yeah. Okay, let me just gather up the scraps from these idiots. Since we can use the resin and such. Yep. Okay, I'm guessing that it was a bird that landed, but it looked like something jumped off the tower. Okay. Some 
thistles. Cook some meat. Let's see. Any skeletons in sight? I should not have been throwing away all of those bones that we found. <laughs> Let's see. What's the what does this say? We yeah, need to the roots to mm -hmm, pluck on smith. Okay. Mushrooms. Uh, yet, there's actually a few used for bones now. Oh. Bolts. Okay. Crossbow bolts, like sheep ammo in this case, but still useful in a way. A uh, very uh, dwarf fortress where you can also make bone bolts. <laughs> Oh, more copper. Why is there... Oh, yeah, and I remember. Uh, put some more fine wood in here. In with the scrap. Hmm. Still no luck with skeletons. Monster Great Dwarf, but nothing much that's a threat. Okay, we got some. Now we got some somewhat better food with some queen bed. Queen bed. Queen yam. But still, yeah. We definitely need to explore and gather better food. So we can work and explore easier. Hmm. More mushrooms. Uh, let's see. Boar. <laughs> boar, 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 boar. You just need yeah. one bo Hello, boar. Hello, <laughs> it's oh, I see a spawning area for the great dwarves. Mm. I'll go deal with that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, this is a great dwarf nest. It's a, it's a spawner for the great dwarfs. So we want it gone, of course. Yeah, and it's a glowy thing it has in the middle. Hmm. Okay, I never noticed that they're built around some sort of idol. Uh, uh, I think it's how they are born. Maybe. Oh, need bones as well now. Uh, do we have enough bones? Yeah, I've got one and another copper deposit. Uh, I found one in storage here. Do we have any more in the other storage? Okay, we have enough oh. bones. Okay, I found some skeletons and another burial site. Let's see, I've got four now, and I'll just I'll just head in. Hmm, actually, uh, we have. I can, I can just throw this out. I'm going to look for circling cores in here. Okay. <coughs> Fill up on these a bit. I'm not sure if the yellow mushrooms respawn or not. I think they do. Okay. I've just never really needed to go back into any of these burial chambers after they've been raided. Oops. Yeah, same. So an easy thing to miss out on by mistake. Rancid remains. It's just a stronger skeleton. And certain course. Also, I have built a cartography table. Okay. So you just need to you to add notes so I can read them. The one. And another one. And more cores, more coins. There are some treasures I'm having to leave behind, but oh well. Yeah, that's why it's probably good to at times be several people to do the dungeon for. Then you can 
bring all the treasures. Oop, almost missed that one. And that one, the four in one room, that's a good haul. Nice. <clears throat> Not sure I've seen this type of room before with four pillars. Uh, let's see, rubies and pearls. Uh, are you serious? Not, my pants are not even max upgraded. But I, I guess we really have some hacker. Like, we have some good armor, just that it's not fully upgraded. Yeah. Um, but still, it's a, like it's a fair handicap still, since <laughs> we're not then too overpowered. Oop. We still need to work to upgrade and build the armor, after all. Yeah. And so we need a plane spy on later, so we can form flax. <laughs> if we turn into linen. <laughs> as well, ball if we have got better food even then. Uh, let's see. I'll throw the raspberries out and craft a yeah. torch. Oh, almost what? There's something else special about Mistland, like, actually, okay. now. It's the food. <clears throat> as you progress, you don't use an older type of food as much. Maybe here and there. But in the Mistlands, you actually start to use food again from earlier biomes a lot again. Like, you okay. actually get to use carrots and turnips and onions in many of the higher level food. Alright, so a good reason not to throw those out. Yeah, hmm. like, sure, you, you, you could, it could be good to farm up some seeds and save them aside and all that. But once you get into Mesa now, then you have actually a good reason to just have a good, big, good farm with turnips, carrot, onions, ball, and all that. Yeah. This is, again, it's... probably good to make a base in the plains, a main base, or a farm base, but then we need to have made a good fortification of stone. Yeah. And oh, stone no. <laughs> stone structures take a lot of materials. Yeah, no, no, it's not too bad. Especially if you've been saving stone from all the copper mining and all that. Okay, that's this place explored with eight cores gained. Nice. Yeah, that can be another smelter or such. Don't want to fight near the berry bushes. Yeah, try to avoid that. Like, if. At pro tip, people, try to avoid fighting near any berry bushes. For if a mod destroys them, then they are gone. Okay. Oop. <laughs> yeah, I got dark and foggy. And I see something glowing. <coughs> or not really a glowing, more like emanating or something. Does it look, okay, uh, look like blue fireflies? Uh, no, it's just another burial site. One star skeleton gets a one star review. Oh, come on. Okay, I'll mark this one down. There. But I won't go into it just yet. <clears throat> and head back now. That, that's a tower. Oh, I've got two stamina food and how that, that was not my plan. Oh, well. Yep, yeah, that's more skeletons. <clears throat> what the? Where's your armor? Yeah, I put it off so I could run faster. Just s put your weapons on your back. Uh, the hammer is 5%, but the, both of the armor pieces are also minus 5%. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's like, it, it, just, it ain't noticeable once you leveled up speed a lot. Our Helium is the one that died the most of us two. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there was Ooh. dialogue from someone inside. Oh, yeah. Probably the raven. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, the Raven. Hugin. With this table, yeah. you rec yeah, record and share your explorations of the Tenth World. Use this you know, toolbox to record your progress and take a look at this large map to copy what others have explored. Yeah, you, you click on the box to record. Then... <coughs> I don't know how I have copied it. Okay, let's see. Wait, what? Okay, it lied to me. Uh, what? When I looked early on this map, it told me the trader was on my... Basically, on the ti li tiny island below Ictir. Okay. So that was a lie. But let's see. Okay, yeah, that's near a coast. It's not too far... All right. I see no swamp there. there plenty of bones. Yeah, I found some bones in our chest. Yeah, I would say that we definitely should investigate the trader to see what kind of terrain it is. For that could might be a better starting base. Since yeah, we then we have close by to the trader. Okay, depositing the gold and treasures that I found. Uh, let's see. Might as well put the circling cores in there as well, since they are high value. Uh, food stuffs we should probably oh, try to put into a box next to the fire. I, I, I feel, after looking at this map, I feel like if you were to come to my world and read my map mode notes, You'll be so confused. Okay. <laughs> Says I've wrote my notes in Swedish. I guessed as much. <laughs> Mostly because it goes faster, actually. Like, uh, Rosberry is Hallon. Basically, five letters. And Blueberry is Blubar. Yes, six letters, so. Many of my notes in Swedish because it actually goes faster to write it in Swedish in this rare occasion. Okay. But Close normally in games I usually write in English. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Wait, uh, no need for that there. Uh, though we should probably split trophies off at one point. Hmm. Okay, then let's see. We've got the cartography table. Now, what do we need for the boat? Let's see. Resin, uh, deer hide, nails, and fine wood. We should have all of that. Yeah, I, I, may, I, I found us more uh, stuff there, for the way there. Should have some more deer hide around. There, there, nails, and resin. And yeah, that's, we have our boat. It's not a long ship yet, uh, but it'll do. Yeah, <laughs> it would be a bit cheating to start with a long ship as well. Okay, let's skip today. Yeah, then we can run and make a boat. <coughs> I get some exploring for. I want to look, take a good look at the trader. Well, we, if uh, we can make a better base over there, since this base was to be made to quickly set up, get gears and food running, but we definitely want a proper base near water, and we are not near water. Yeah. Also, let me check the cold at least not This is sailing water. Uh, black soup, boar jerky, carrot soup, deer stew. Oh uh, yeah, ice should cream, make really. boar jerky. Uh, yeah, fish. make that on your own at your own risk. The meat ba uh, bases, minced meat sauce, onion soup. Which oh, only onions? Okay, queen's jam. Queen's jam is a pretty good starter, since oh, yeah. well, it does take berries, a lot of berries. 
uh, but it gives a bunch of stamina <clears throat> for oh, yeah. quite and a long you time. Do, and you will get four of them. Yep. Knock shake. <laughs> okay. And then there's turnip stew, which is just boar meat and turnips, but it gives a lot of stamina as well. So yeah, just in just in general, it's a good idea to make a cauldron and make these foods. Uh, though we do need to upgrade it, apparently, for most yeah. of them. Yeah, we're hm. gonna need... Uh, what do we need to, for the upgrade? Three dandelion, two carrots, five mushrooms, three teastools, and three <laughs> turnips. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Should be it e should be easy to make. You have that's but you have the garden here. You just need a tistol. Actually, have you found any tistol? Uh, yeah, I did. I've been finding them, but I haven't been putting you know, picking them up. If if you got the markers I have on the map, it's the T's. All right, on my way to grab them up. Let's see, padded greaves, twenty six armor. Uh, at the moment, that's 22 armor. Okay, but we need require linen for that. And, well, we don't have that. So. Yeah, like, again, I feel like the best move, time we was to make a base in the plains is as quick we can get a stone cut. Dur? Burst? Is that you? It's yes, that's Burst. Cutter. We need uh, we tell iron. you this about Bert, people. Bert is an arsehole. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm running for the shore. <clears throat> Another random uh, Bambi murder. Let's see, I, I saw some sparkling ice. Yep, great dwarves. Yeah, he still hits hard due to I have a low health. So, even with armor, it doesn't help me too much if I don't have good enough health as well. Yeah, you found a brute, I'm guessing. Troll. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that also works. It's, it's who I call Bert. Hmm. He, he, he's now dead and he fell face first into a tree. There you go, climbed his head. Okay, this looks like something of significance. Five pillars or men here in a circle. Yeah, I'm going to make a that, mark here. That's uh, is nothing real, but there has a history behind it. That was supposed to originally be the place where you only could place portals on. Okay. And activate them, but they changed their mind so you could put put them anywhere. Since Oop. otherwise it could be a chance that you have places where you cannot place a, uh, have a portal at all. Yeah. Uh, what the? Th there's no pistols here. Yeah, it could be that they've been plucked already. And I found another burial chambers. <laughs> I found blueberry though. Here we go. <coughs> I'll raid this on the way back. How many did we need again? Three, I only found two. Okay. Ah, there you go. Yeah, we, we could be lazy and set up portals to go back and forth between uh, the, the shore where we port out our boats. Actually, in general, that would be a good idea to move any stuff that can be moved through portals uh, back. Yeah, though at the same time, when we need to transport metal, It'd be nice to have a base by the water, so you don't need to drag the metal for distances across land. Yeah. So, there is the cart for that. <laughs> We've had our own issues with that. Yeah, it, it is good. <laughs> Just not perfect. And we may not always have the luck to have the right ground condition to drive it around, so... And also, we are Vikings. Okay. One boat. Uh, I don't have enough for any portals, but a well. Oh, hello. Where the hell? Just a skeleton walking from behind. Oh, there's another. <laughs> another burial chamber here. 
Nice. Not sure I've seen this design before. That's three in a, almost a triangle here. Okay, then. <clears throat> Let me get on board this thing and actually steer it back some because I want to, well, I want to break it down so I don't, so it doesn't. Actually, we could probably. We could probably leave it here for the moment. It's in this shallow area. It's trying to break. Uh, yeah, if <clears throat> mobs will, no, hostile mobs will come uh, at the boat to try and break it. But since this is in shallow water, even if they do. We wouldn't lose anything. If it were to break on uh, out on sea, then the heavy parts, like well, the nails, those would sink like bricks. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Yeah, and well, you'd need a you you would need a boat to go retrieve this, this stuff, anyways. <laughs> yeah, do we? Well, we don't have the pro very good web, uh, ammo at the moment, but once we got some better arrows, we could hunt a serpent and all that. Yeah. Preferably once we made a harpoon. Uh, don't we need to find one of those giant turtles for that or something? Yep, we do, and uh, we we mark them. We, actually, we should probably when we explore, we should definitely try to grab them when we can this time. Okay. Uh, For coin, ruby, the arrow. Right, the serpent shield, which is a tower shield, should be the best tower shield in the game, or was. So it could be a good substitute for metal tower shield. Says that one requires a lot of chains. Okay. Which can only be gotten in the swamp. Uh, yeah, swamp through chest or race. Okay. And speaking of raids, whilst I was exploring, I was chased by one of those motherfuckers at one point. <laughs> Why, I'm not surprised. Another also, core, where are all the mushrooms? Uh, do you have any regular mushrooms with you? Uh, I put some in the... I think I put some away. Yeah, I found some yellow ones. I need the regular ones. Yeah, I think I put some regular ones in the uh, in the box next to the fire. I think next at least. Next to the fire. Okay, uh, we we'll head back and look. I must miss that. Oh, I found some here. I found four. More coin, more feather, more arrow. Oh, hello. Snuck mm -hmm. up on me. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Amber, coin, more feathers, and more arrows. We can eventually make... We can make those ourselves, but it is easier to just find them. Yeah. Uh, pearl. Oh, I also got... There's metal bolt, uh, black metal arrows now, or bolts. Okay. Uh, normally, I recommend to not make metal arrows since there's only so much metal on the map, but black metal? That's infinite, as long as there's foolings, there's black metal. Yeah, and also I found a, a mark for the tree uh, boss, and they are on a completely different island. Okay. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Another core. Big seven. <clears throat> it's empty. And, and that's this one's upgraded. All right. Uh, that is one of these done. Now on to the next. <clears throat> 
Okay, there is some tin here as well, but I won't grab that yet. Especially since my inventory is already full. <coughs> but I, yeah, with all of this talk about crossbow bolts, it is a very easy guess to assume that there's now also a crossbow. Nope. Arbalest. Okay. The big one, and it's... People debated it was, it was better than the bow or not, but the YouTuber who done it says it's preference and that the bow is more like a machine gun, but the arbalest, the crossbow, is more like a sniper rifle. But it shoots far, it shoots straight. And uh, you know, you know, you, ha you have to hold when you aim and drain stamina when yeah. you shoot with the bow. Once the crossbow is loaded, you don't drain stamina. You only okay. drain stamina while uh, pushing it. Then it's loaded. Then you can shoot whenever you wish. Getting quite a lot of arrows like this. Almost 50. Uh, let's see here. We shall now be able to cook better food. I thought that was a death blow. Apparently not. No room in inventory. Oh yes, these circling cores only stack in tens. That's a second start started. Second stack started. Say that five times fast. I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. Not a spawner easily smashed. <laughs> And another location rune. Uh, yeah, we found one of these earlier. And th there is one of these at the start. But this is the easiest way to finding where the bosses are. Also, you can... Okay, I thought you could break those. Uh, the chest to see the, as a visual marker of where you have and haven't been and such. Or did I just not damage it enough? Oh well. Moving on. I think that's the entirety of this uh, little dungeon. Oh, no. Here's another door. And another victim. Or <laughs> three. Four. Alright. Crossroads chamber. Oop, another. Core. Just trying to go through all of this clockwise or anti-clockwise. Easiest way to not get lost and make sure that everything is covered. I also should probably put my armor back on in here, just in case something gets a lucky shot on me or something. Yeah, if you have a spawn and spawn one to two star bo uh, skeletons, I'm gonna say boars, or ranched remains, yeah, you're gonna wish you had your armor on. Another crossroads chamber. Nothing on this side. Oh. Okay, another upwards part that doesn't connect anything. You came in here as well? Maybe. Okay. Quartz ran out, so might as well fight a bit like this. And just see how they, they light the place up when they get set on fire. Oop. Two-star skeleton. I did just tell you you want to have armor in case you meet those. And I can hear someone clawing at the door, so give me a second. Oh, no, it's the old cats. Yeah, so you can come in. Uh. Okay. Yeah, you're just going to silently sneak up to next <laughs> next to me on the chair. Okay. Uh, yeah, she's missing a patch of skin because. Yeah, her her fur has been. I don't know what the exact word is, but the closet I think would fit. Yeah, as in it's all stuck together and such. And uh, yeah, 
we've been trying to remove those uh, slowly but surely, but apparently with one spot it failed, or it didn't, or someone was too rough with it or something, because, yeah, when the hair went, the skin went with it. But oh. the, uh, she d doesn't seem to be bothered too much by it. Um, and the wound is clean and all of that. So, yeah. We're keeping an eye on that. And Okay, why are you sprouting around the place? Uh, where are you going? Uh, I think I've covered the entire... I've emptied out the entire place now. There's a closed door here. But, oh. <laughs> Okay, I completely overlooked that. Or did I close this one myself or something? Oh, no. Shirtling core. And that's that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely would have missed that. And we remove the campfire. Okay, now she's just sitting up against my closet. On the okay. closet. Right. Shall we try to explore? Yeah, there is one more burial chamber up here that we can do. Uh, once uh, after this one, it'll probably be a good idea to empty our inventory, grab any of the other treasures that we have, and head over to sell those. Yeah, probably <laughs> good idea. So we get some coin. <laughs> that would have been also a jump scare if we. Well, didn't die in one hit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I also want to see the trade post for... If it's near water and it's a good building ground, then maybe have a better starting location to build work from. Yeah. And I've now got a full stack of 50 mushrooms. <laughs> All right. Oop. Empty chest. If I'd been, been here? Yeah, if I'd been here, I probably would have picked up the the mushrooms though. Uh the, they do leave gives Okay, I maybe I, there. Yeah, maybe they just regrew here. Okay. Well that this confirms hmm. it then. Yeah, I, I guess I've just been through this place and forgot the market. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Very quick dungeon. Well then, I guess hmm. we, re we will return then. Okay. And yeah, I guess it is. If we make a base in the Black Forest, it, it would be a kind of nice base from always, almost always building in the meadows. Yeah. Uh, we would be constantly harassed by the Grey Dwarfs even more than usual. Yeah, that would, that would mean constant source of stone and wood. Mushrooms. And Great Dwarf Eyes, all three actually useful for poor to them building. So, Let's throw those out. it's not a bad thing, plus it would mean easy combat experience for us. <laughs> yeah, to grind up our stats some. Yeah, and we are in good gear, so that it may actually be beneficial with the Great Dwarfs attacking us. True. At least, at least in our... If we have worse gear, like if we start from scratch, then, then yes, then it will be at risk, especially with trolls. But now, likely benefits. Yeah. And she's left without a single sound. The, <laughs> that cat is like, uh, uh, yeah. When <laughs> either you don't hear her at all as she's going around, or you are very much aware of wherever she is in the house when she wants attention. <laughs> Like, meow, meow, meow. Oh, <laughs> the how silent. old is the poor bugger? Uh, not sure. It's a bit hard to tell with, uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> how uh, poorly they've been treated. Okay. Uh, charcoal can go in here. Got to put that away. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's move these trophies into a box of their own. Yeah, I, I put some new chests further away, so it could be good to, to use that. <coughs> I 
Let's sell those. Uh, resin we have more than plenty of. But if we start putting up torches and all, we'll need a lot of... Oh, hello there, Helios. Oh, hmm? we got a, a viewer. Hello. Uh, all for your stream on whatever that is. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, sounds like a bot or something. Oh. Okay, let's put this trophies in here. And then the cores and the valuables in here. Yeah, Stack them right. up. I put some decoration on the table, by the way. Okay. And also this for the cauldron. And <laughs> yeah, a lot of... <laughs> A lot of gold. We can stack those up. Yeah, I just realized <laughs> these are massive gold coins. Yep. Okay, the foodstuffs go here. There, and there. Yeah, we definitely. Gonna, you know what? We should probably be the portal here. So once we get to the trader and see how the train is, we can build a portal there, and then we can. Move, slowly start moving uh, things over. Yeah. So I'll just grab the stuff we need for that. That's hmm. Two cores. Yeah, but have you? We could probably even destroy this base if needed, since it kind of serves its purpose. Or, yeah, or we can we keep can... it as a fallback. Yeah, we could. Bunch of feathers. Even though it doesn't <laughs> help too much, but it, it could be of use. But we'd, yeah, we, we want a good base. And if it's near the coast, that just means benefit for whenever we deliver back iron and all that sense. Iron, iron I think metal ingots and a few other things come through, go through portal. This has been a very debate between the, the fans. Like, I, I'm okay with you know you're not be able to teleport uh, Ingus through a portal, but I'd also be okay if they allow it to do that as well. So I'll be at 50 50 on it. Yeah, I'd say have it as a targetable option in a <clears throat> in your world settings. Yeah, I agree with that. That would be the best of both worlds. And I kind of understand, like, he, the main developer is afraid. That if you are able to teleport ingots through uh, portals, that it will make the boats useless. Which I cannot disagree with, since you still need a boat to go to new islands. True. <coughs> okay. So it would not be useless, and you also need a boat to, well, hunt sea serpents. There we go. One portal. Uh, let's see what... That's the front. Let's put that over here for the moment. And then we'll tag it as Crater. Yeah, you need to tag these portals to connect them. Yeah, they can and... only be connected to one or one portal. Or, but sometimes you can make one portal a change it to connect to other portals. But then you need to remember the name of each portal. Yeah. Uh, having signs with them written down is a good idea. Yeah, like, they, they will, if you go close to them, they will tell you the name of it. But yeah, signs also good help from long distance. And just, just have a signboard to tell you the other portal's names. And even, I would always say that when you put down a portal, mark it on the map with its name. Then you can wonder, go, hmm, what, which portal goes where that you need to look at the map? Yeah. Okay, I've got the material for another portal. Let's rest up. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's only been uh, an hour and 15 minutes so far. Yeah, we made some decent progress. And yeah, checking again, that definitely looks like a bot name. So give me a second. Uh, properties. Cut the URL out. Okay. 
and put it back in. There. There probably is some way for me to just empty it out normally, but oh well. <clears throat> well I got some stone and wooded meat for campfires. <clears throat> Uh, all of my gear is in good condition. Maybe not 100%, but oh well. Yeah, same here. It, mine is decently good condition. Mark off the burial grounds before I go in there again. But uh, yeah, I can say this. If you can get some iron, we will be set to be able to easily make a good base location. I, I've been practicing making thick walls. Okay. Uh, on my map, <laughs> double thick walls, but put them so they stand half and half over each other, which means if one under breaks it, the one on top will not fall. Okay, so like brick, how bricks are layered in real life? Yes, and also it kind of looks nice. Okay. So there's another bonus. Here we are. At sunrise. And in a boat. Okay. Also, another feature I love. You can sit or hold on to the mast. Or... Oh, you can't do it with this boat. But on the big boat, you can hold to the dragon head. <laughs> yeah, play out the Titanic on your own. Uh, wrong kind of holding. <laughs> Okay, we are going up against the wind, but in general, this is still faster than just walking on land. Uh, we are now just moving by paddling. As you can see, well, the wiggling paddle. Oh, we have some wind. Uh, yeah, on the right side, very obviously, we can see, you, know, you can see the orientation of your boat and the wind compared to it. If it is anywhere in the uh, oh, what color would we call that? Gold area? Uh, you can use the sail to, well, sail. But as it is now in the black, we will have to pull back to only paddling. Also, oh, what is that village? Okay, that's somewhere, that's another abandoned village, and one where I got killed by uh, some great dwarves as I was rushing back to my grave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, did you say you found Draug villages? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Huh. Th that's an island. <laughs> Th that could have been... That was a bit too close and low to the coastline, so if we do this over, that almost that area will be flooded with water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it could make a decent outpost. Yeah, like, I still like the idea of was building a base on an island, but we will see. If we have an island that's like a plane and decently sized, for us to make a base and block off wild spawn, perfect. If we can only do half, it would be perfect, but we may or may not find it. It will also depend on how far it's from other locations we want to go to. There's a stag and a great dwarf over there. Okay. Yep. I don't think they hunt <laughs> stags. Only us and other mobs from other biomes. Okay. Uh, whilst you're sailing, just keep general stuff in mind that you can think of yourself. Just don't run the thing aground. Avoid rocks and such. Uh, boats don't break too easily and you will definitely know when you need to well beat yourself and repair the damn thing because yeah. it, it goes through two uh, three or four stages before it breaks or yeah it, it will look uh, very grayish when it's about to break yeah <laughs> but it's also good to keep uh, an eye on your food to remember to eat since like, if you sail near planes and you haven't eaten any food, you think you're safe, you're not. Yes. I saw someone munch while driving. What? <laughs> this proves my point. For if, if he didn't do that now, 
though we have a lot of weak food, but if you if you see him with only 25 HP, you're basically dead if a dead skeeto finds you. Yeah, since those things fly, and well, mobs will go after you even if you're on a boat. Yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> There's a rune stone there. We've passed a few of those now. And oh, the wind has turned. So full sails. Yeah, you, you can see the direction of the wind also on the mini map in the lower right, uh, lower left corner of it. Okay. Uh, we're going to pass by a copper deposit in a bit here. Ooh, we almost hit a rock. Yeah, yeah, you definitely need to keep an eye out on, on the water rocks as well. Yeah, for the, the, those are the sneakiest. Especially when the waves are like this and you can't actually strand yourself by accident on the, a hidden island or a rock. Hmm. And yeah, you don't turn this thing just you know, like you turn it on foot, you you are actually steering, so it will take a, a, a bit of time to react. Ooh, uh, close. Okay. And oh, in uh, general, it's a good idea to try and stick close to the, uh, to the shoreline for safety and, well, emergency beaching. Yeah, like... Sure, if you have several players and have a long boat, and a good space. arrows and bow, then you can hunt to see something, <laughs> especially if you have a harpoon. But with this and our current uh, arrows, we will need to avoid the sea serpent. Yeah. Uh, they have certain spawn points, I believe, but they are a very they are a lot more likely to spawn if it's raining or storming. And nights, though, if it's <laughs> storming at night, even higher chance. Yeah. And plus, there's also the fact that uh, the open ocean just freaks me the hell out, so I'm just going to stick close to the <laughs> to land. Same. Like, has it? I guess it is. I would probably have easier time if it wasn't for the sea serpent. Okay. Some shallows here. Oop, that's a rock. There we go. Come on, Ooh, turn. Almost at the trader, and I forgot to bring these things we can sell, but oh well. Yeah, we can. We got the stuff for the portal, and treasures can be moved through. So it'll be easy enough yeah. to just hop back and forth. True. Quite literally. And time to see what kind of area it is for. If you're lucky, this could be a better base location. Okay. And it. I see swamp trees there. If that swamp have iron, then this is a good base location. But then we have copper, iron, <laughs> everything we need. Okay, <laughs> ran ashore a bit, but we can just easily break the uh, boat ourselves and reposition it. And I went too deep into the waters. Yeah, when you go swim, your weapons are unequipped, so yeah, you do that. There's team here. Th that's good. <clears throat> okay, uh, let me clear out this little bit here as well. Oh, they, they already came at us. Uh, some feathers and arrows. Okay, uh, we could we could mine this tin and sail back afterwards. Wait, For now, I'm gonna inspect here's this. a trader. Yeah, I, I said it. I, I want us to inspect the swamp. For if the swamp has crypt, then that's damn good. Yeah, the crypts are the swamp dungeons. Oh, the ender <clears throat> is all, all over there. Yeah, that's quite a uh, trip. Yeah, and here's the trader a blue dwarf. Uh, Yule hat? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's the pagan name for... Well, if you get a Swedish uh, 
word for Yule. And we have hey. copper. Hey, basically, we. Two copper. We don't call it Christmas or Christmas first, but we Swedes, we never stopped calling it Yule. We said the pagan tradition, which makes some really rich people of the church not happy that we still say good Yule. Uh, let's see. That is a different place where the yeah, these bo the bosses can be uh, can have arenas in different places. Uh, so yeah, that's that one is even further away than the other one. And uh, once again, we can claim a tower <laughs> for our portal and such. Yeah, uh, we can get ancient bark here as well. Is this good? Uh, uh, I found a nose. Need a workbench. Hmm. <clears throat> Actually, this will be a really good spot for a portal. Since it's yeah, close you can't to the portal well. inside the bubble. You have to build the portal outside his bubble. Yeah, we can just put it in this tower over here. And we can make a bit of a an outpost around it. Wait. <laughs> Oh, we need so much better food for our... This is the thing, the better help you have, the better block you have. And this food I'm using is not good enough. Yeah, we need stuff with more health. And the swamp may provide us with that. Oh, a chest. Let's see. Clean head arrow <laughs> and that yellow stuff. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Too wide around this thing should be good enough, I think. Oh, this is not... I fully explored the swamp already. It's only a, sw a swamp dot, really, here. Yes. So, we may not get iron here, but unless a ooze spawn, uh, they, they have a chance to drop <laughs> iron, but we can get ancient bark and better food from here, though, like the intestines from the dragon and all that, so. Yeah, not that I would ever touch uh, <laughs> undead intestines myself, but. The Vikings have stronger stomachs than me. So, I would say still this might be a good spot to make a base sense. It would allow us to... Uh, prepare potions and better food. Yeah, and easy and access to really the trader. That. Shaman farts, or no, that's just an ooze. Or a blob? <laughs> oh, okay. I found another tower. Two towers. <laughs> Wait, a drug. The drug tower might tell us where. Another. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. What? Retreat. Uh, Draugr Elite. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you willing to help me? Okay, give me a second and I'll rush over. I'll at least be able to shoot it. Let's see. Uh, 22 pierce, 27 pierce, 5 extra damage, but I will. Miss. Yep. Blob incoming. Yeah, Draugrs are just playing dangerous <laughs> at any point. Yeah, the hammer helps. Normally, if due to have bad health, I don't block properly, and which means a lot more damage comes through. Okay, it's fully what was intended, but it's resting on something. Okay, one. Two and three. 
one and two. And one and two. Okay, let's see again. <clears throat> see if I have more luck with walling this off than the base. Hurt you three. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. <laughs> if I can get into the tower. Uh, okay, might as well put down the. Wait. Oh, I didn't. Uh, we need to cut down some uh, trees or an oak because I brought ten too few fine woods. Uh, let's see, is there an oak somewhere around here? Let's see, they should be easily recognized by their size. Okay, there's no stone here, all right. Is that a cave troll? A, yeah, a troll cave? That looks like a troll cave. Fine. Oh, Draugr Elite Trophy! We can have that. Now I can make <laughs> Iron Sledge. There we go. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I've, what do you think? Should we make a base here so we have access to better food? Yeah, at the very least, an outpost. And yeah, this is core wood, not fine wood. And there's a bit more copper again. Well, here's the thing. We are close to water and has some access to better food. So we might be able to have a better starting base here. Okay, careful around the cave since trolls can enter, uh, can exit those at any time. Uh, we'll spawn, but yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see the terrain here, how it looks. Yeah. That swamp. Oh, there's a troll cave here as well. Hmm. Are there really no oaks around here? In the dark forest? No, you find them in the meadows. Yeah. And you have meadows past the swamp. Let's gather these. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. yeah. Mm. More copper. Yeah, okay. This area is better for a outpost than a full base. If it's not exactly safe. Uh, that, that too, and also not very even for a larger play. Like, I would love to make a base in Black Forest sometime, but usually the problem is it's so bumpy, and you usually don't find a good, decent terrain to build on. Yeah. But the, the, all you can find it is not impossible, just not always. Yeah, though you could also make it, but that <laughs> takes a lot of work. Yeah, like, it's easier to cut, uh, use the mine pit to lower an area than to raise it. But it can be expensive in stone to raise it. However, even that can be a challenge in the uh, Black Forest, considering how cliffy it can be sometimes. Yeah. Okay, I got the pine wood. <clears throat> There's great wars fighting skeletons, so I'll just leave those be. Oh, there. I'm almost running out of food now. <laughs> yeah, I've got a bunch of honey, mushrooms, and carrots are still with me. You eating raw <laughs> carrots? Yep. Oh, for love of. Yeah, I could make them into soups, but we don't have a cauldron near us now. <laughs> Okay, where's that tower? Hey. There it is, that tower. Uh, still very high. Like, 
There's some areas that can be built on, but then they are too close to the water. Which means we have so much waves. Invalid placement, what? No, I think I have found a decent spot. So you started to be the tower, so I'm gonna run over there and inspect. For again, I would prefer to be semi close to the water. There we go, connected. Uh, uh, lovely. Uh, let's actually place it more against the wall here. Crater. Give it a second to connect. <clears throat> In the meantime, there we go. Yeah, I think this probably be better as a hunting lodge, if you could call it that. And I guess we could use the stone house in the middle as a giant chimney. Okay. Yeah, this wouldn't be fancy since... Yeah. It's not a great area to build on. But it is a major base, at least. Oh, hello. One star Draugr. That is dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, I need I need more health food. <laughs> yeah, now you see why I almost said we should build a base here. Yeah, yeah, if they can wander over, that can be a problem if we're unprepared. Yeah. Look, here is somewhat workable. E yeah, kind of somewhat workable here. Actually, yeah. It's not too far from the water. It's decently pla flat. Can easily be prepared. Okay, yeah, here we could make a base. It's li it's literally on top of two uh, <coughs> iron deposits. Iron? No, no iron copper deposits. Oh, well, so. <coughs> okay. There's some great dwarves nearby. Uh, I would prefer to have stone walls against the trolls, but... Yeah. Yep. I, I, I see a lurking potato in the chat. <laughs> oh, Draugr. Block that bitch. Uh, yeah, getting harassed with, by Grey Dwarfs and Draugrs would be a problem. Yep. Grey Dwarf healing. There you go. Okay, let's finish up the walls around this thing. Yeah, you, you doing well, Tatum? It's a little potato. Okay, probably put up some torches as well. So we can actually see things. Yep. Uh, yeah, having those iron. coming as well. Okay, Did do, you drop do. one iron? Oh. More draugers. Oh. And yes, you can, you can parry arrows. <laughs> Your timing is good enough. Yeah, they removed that once, but I re-added it because people loved it. Uh, oh, and Tatum says they're doing fine. This is good Aww. to hear. Very good to hear. Oh, ooze. An actual mm. ooze or a blob? Yep. Well, it's dead anyways. And... Okay, this is weird. Why is this not aligned properly?
Well, you did build it very uneven due to you did not plow the ground, which you should yeah, prove I, I built them up. I built them from the the roof down. Hmm. Might be uneven roof. <laughs> could be. It could so be that the probably... one part links to the stone instead of the, the actual roof bits. Yeah, you should probably have done it from the ground up. But it looks rather weird here, so let's let's fix this ground. Yeah, we can fill in underneath it with uh, wood, no, uh, with Oops. wall pieces. Accident ended the portal. <laughs> yeah. Likely the title of some isekai somewhere. I accidentally walked into a portal. And now I'm X Y Z. Oh dear God! Can I put away some food there? Can I return? Mm. But yeah, we can easily just here on a night with some good food farm uh, draugers <laughs> to get uh, some proper food going. Yeah. Okay. Build this in some more. Was that always raised? Oh well. Oh. Well, I, I have been fixing uh, on the ground here, my boy. Ooh! Oh, that, that's a raise. That's a raise. I've never actually fought these. Oh, but they hurt. <laughs> That should be expected luckily, of the undead. Luckily, silver weapons they are like poison to these guys. Well, to any undead and slime, really. Let's put a full wall there. Make sure that that gap is filled. And... Yeah, let's do this. And just one little wood short. <laughs> okay, those ugly mugs. It's. I it seems I got one iron from something as well. Don't carry an iron on me. So you probably found the one that, that I couldn't pick up at the time. Okay. But if, if you find another ooze that drop another iron piece, awesome. But then we can make a stone cutter. We only need two iron for that. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, literally, if we get two iron, like one more iron, we can start building a base anywhere we want. There we go. Now, the portal isn't activating for me because I have that iron on hand, so let's put that away and go deposit our stuff. <laughs> Takes a bit to load. All right, let's see. Food first. Probably should put up some more for these. Bunch of pine cones and such that we have. Arrows. Yeah, stupid puke berries. Okay, treasures. There, that's a full stack of that. Uh, no other treasures. I'll pick those up. On the way back. Probably should not put the wood behind the freaking pillar here, but oh well. Yeah, at least it'll be easy to identify which chest has the wood. It's the one that's the hardest to see. Almost another stack oh of bones. And seeds. And. Let's see, where was that? Here, okay. Some eyes, some ooze, and the intestines go with the food. There we go. Uh, I'll take the deer meat for some more health. Let's see, how much does that give? 35. Yeah, definitely, that's almost doubling. Yeah, it's better to cook the deer meat <laughs> then turn into a stew or minced meat. 
Let's see. Can I do that at the moment? Uh, carrot soup needs mushrooms. Yeah, uh, you, you, yeah we really need to get that farming going. Blueberries. Yeah, yeah, just let me grab some blueberries then. And I'll make some stews. Is there nothing yeah. else that is made with that? We really should do a hunting and gathering expeditions uh, off stream. Yeah. Just fill a bunch of uh, boxes with everything. <clears throat> and don't yeah. forget the farms. One thing that would be nice to have added to the game would be a multi-craft thing, but it's not too big of a thing. Uh, low on carrots. Wait, did... Ooh. Um... Uh, I, I think I might have just used Ooh. up the last of our carrots, but on accident. Well, I guess we need to hunt our carrot seed, and there's a incoming two-star Draugr. Okay, I'll head back, uh, grab the valuables to sell. Uh, amber, rubies, and the pearls. Might as well bring the money to see what we can buy. <coughs> All right. Okay, I, I just looked down at the OBS stats, and apparently we've only lost two frames for two rendering lags, and no, zero skipped frames. So yeah, you could say that the game is running plenty fine. That's good. Uh... Oh, you got the sneak attack on it. Was that the two-star? Nope, he's over there. He ran back for some reason. Okay, he lost. Uh, he lost aggro. Okay. First hit gets sneak attack bonus. Ow! He hits hard. And not anymore. Okay. Well, we at least have a spot where it will be easy to get the intestines for the sausages. Yes, for the... Apparently they've been hearing us build, and I, I get attracted by that. Yeah, ease up this corner a bit. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let me go sell all the stuff. Put the weapons away. Because you did say that if you accidentally attack the trader, that there'll be trouble in the mistlands. Not the trader. I don't think you can attack him. But if you accidentally attack his kinsmen in the mistland, or the house, they will attack you. Okay, we've got five hundred gold at the moment. Uh, we could we could save up for one of those uh, mining circlets. These give off light, uh, but they take up the head slots. Or we yeah, can make a, that, get a fishing that, rod. I think we can skip though, for it's not really that dark in the case and all that. I think they adjust the series a bit light, brighter with the gamma. Okay, and yeah, this is the, this is the belt that is giving us extra uh, carry capacity. And yeah, it's pretty expensive, as you can see, at 950. But it's so worth it, especially early on. Okay. I'll just get a fishing rod and some bait then. And he has, he has his own little tune playing there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to clear out some of the trees around this for the wood. Yeah. I just realized. From what I just did, we now have a defensive cliff where I'm standing. Okay. <laughs> so we don't need to make a defensive wall there, unless we meet a troll, but only on the other sides of this place. Yeah, the only thing we'd really need is a bit of shelter in case of archers. Hmm. Shall we get rid of this rock or leave it be? 
We could use them defensively. Yeah, okay, a shelter from archers or such. Yeah, and it kind of works as a damn wall, even. All right. A few more trees. Oh. <laughs> Almost out of the chain reaction. <clears throat> it's just good for us to start gathering a lot of wood since we we will need the wood later. <laughs> yeah. And we are getting close to the two hour mark. And I, I can no, confirm that there probably won't be a stream tonight since the uh yeah, the swimming group gathering or get together uh yeah, that is happening uh, around 8, or so, yeah. All Unless right. we do a late stream on that, uh, which is, well, unlikely with you going to sleep at you. How did... Yeah. Uh, you might want to take a look at me here. But no, I did <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh. I was... I was in the log, but it pushed me out. <laughs> also, it didn't hurt me. It, that ooze might try to, or blob. <clears throat> that sound. I think there might be an actual ooze around here. Yeah, more draggers are wandering over. Hmm. Thought I heard a deer. But yeah, dealing with these constantly would be a real nuisance. Yeah, however, it is combat training. Yeah. And we need it. And I can hear something nearby. Oh, yeah, we have to need it for only 12 block. Really? I did die and lose some, but still, 12 block is horrible. No wonder we usually struggle a bit when we play together. We need training. Uh, blocking five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there, there. I can definitely hear deer nearby. Yeah, they run around everywhere here. Might as well fix. Make that look good. Hey, yeah, definitely. There is some misalignment in the side walls, but oh well. Oh, got some ancient bark as well. Um, event. Oh, but okay. Uh, yeah, I forgot those can happen at any play. Yeah, he's. It's just, it's just the gray dwarves though. Uh, brutes. Shaman. Oop. Okay, it's only what? small stutters like that. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think what is I think the reason we probably both have low blocking is because due to our gear we can generally kill something without needing to parry it. Yeah, but we have lost also died a lot. So we may yeah. have lost a lot of blocking. <laughs> Actually, we'd, we could probably train the blocking by just letting a, a few great dwarves beat on our shield for a while. Oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll deal with the farther. And yeah, he's still got his spell off. Not that they survive long enough to heal from them. <clears throat> Necessary dodge roll. And that's that. Do we get amount of stone, sap, and eyeballs? Q. 
Come on. <laughs> okay, that one just ceased to exist for a second. Hmm. There, that's less in the way. <clears throat> okay. Put some of this away. Oh, we've got a blob trophy. Yeah, for one out earlier. Oh, wait. I didn't sell the pearls? Okay. Get yeah, us some of this stuff. I think that was a shaman trophy I just picked up. We should we should probably start hanging those around. Um, actually, do those trophy stands? Do those cost? Uh, uh, it costs some metal, some nails. Okay, just a single bronze nail. If it was uh, iron nails, it would have been more uh, problemsome. But yeah, but just copper ones or bronze ones, we can do that. Oh, I see the problem. There's one roof piece that got misaligned <laughs> on the corner piece. Okay. And yeah, that, that happens easily with the corner pieces, but they are very iffy to work with at times. There we go. That's the amber pearl cells. I'd have been, it's happened several places, but yeah, it, it's just an outpost. <laughs> yeah, precision isn't required here. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna use this place to... Yeah, try and hunt some food and all that, as we really gonna need it. There you are. Oh, one of the leech trophy. What the? Hill, come here, come here. Look, look on the ground. What? Modding scrap pile. Oh yeah, scrap. Oh yeah, scrap pile. Oh, what is that doing out here? It's rare. It can happen sometimes, but this solves. So much! Yeah, uh, yeah, this is where we get iron from. These would spawn inside uh, the dungeons. So blocking pots. And I saw some scrap iron there. Picking up some. Okay, uh, we are digging scrap into the water do you get? Line. Uh, let's see. I have a single scrap. I got one. And we got one more. Oh, there's one more here. <laughs> no, Draugr. Ooh! What the? He... He threw me up? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there's some more here. Okay, I'll just keep watch then, since there's more Draugr spawning. Yeah, there's also one of those huts over there. I don't think I've ever seen anything spawn in those. Hmm. Can anyway, I cut this down? Yep. Well, since you're <laughs> since you're chipping away at the druids, anyways. What the? I didn't get more? Yeah, well, better. still, we got, we got enough iron so we can make the stone cutter. Yeah, so we can make our own. That one is very intent on you. There's two more coming. Are they actually running away? Or one of them is the running away is run and pushing the archer. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, be careful since the leeches can poison and all that. Uh, let, let's just head off. And the, the, we hit the two hour mark. <laughs> yeah, but with this in a way struck, strike gold here, this swamp was not only just for food now, it actually gave us what we need to start looking for a main base. Yeah. Like, we might not make, <laughs> are able to make a new iron weapons on that, but we will be able to go wherever we want to make something new and the shooting mm. the house. Oh, total four iron. That's good. Yeah, that's enough for the stone cutter. And there. Someone following him was shooting the house. Yeah, they're probably like, trying to get at the workbench. I'm I'm back at the the other base. There we go. I come in with you the two, you know. Right. Next time we play, we grab the iron and bring it over. Yeah, and sail back, smelt it, then we can start an expedition for a better base. <laughs> yeah. Okay, more intestines, putting the food back. We may even look for a plains biome. Also, you yes. can have these. Oh, thank you. Uh, there's the fishing rod. I'll put that aside over here for the moment. When we need or want fish. Okay, uh, let's finish unloading then. And we can call this the stream then. <clears throat> well, yeah, the, nothing too much happened, but at the same time, a quite, quite a lot did still happen. <laughs> okay, we we've found got the two... thing that will really help us get going faster. <laughs> yeah, we've also got some ancient seeds for summoning the <clears throat> the Black Forest boss. Yeah, but, hmm. We probably should investigate the elder boss for. Let's see, where is he? Yeah, he might be near swamp and plain biomes. Okay. Uh, putting so we, these over here for the moment. And if you can find a plain biome that have a good coastline, we just. With a large amount, with a poor tool and a lot of stone, just, yeah, wall it up and claim it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, <laughs> yep. Got a trophy. They overlooked. Uh, where did I put those again? There. I okay, that's a brute here. one. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, good little, uh, easy stream, relaxed stream. Oop. Another Ooh, stutter yeah. there. Do you, do you have those stutters as well, or are they just on my end, since I'm hosting? Some time, but less with you, actually. Okay. It's probably because you, you have the save stutter. Go repair everything before we forget. Oh, good idea. Uh, what was that? Horn of, Horn of Celebration. Okay. Oh, that one heals you. Okay. It, however, hmm. we ha since that cost iron, we will have to wait. Since I already us that we had to use the two, the four irons we have for stone cutters. Forgot about that thing here. Okay, we've got a full stack of. Are these iron arrows? Flint had arrows, okay. I had one um, little stutter there. <clears throat> oh, not on my end, so it, yeah, it must be on each of our ends separately. Yeah, okay. though they are very <laughs> minor. Like, I know they used to be a little bit more, especially with save lag. But each of the up to the game, especially the bigger updates, they have been able to reduce them more and more. Okay. Uh, for now, though, let's head to bed. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. You can hear the, <laughs> the charcoal kiln doing its work. Yeah, when you go to sleep, uh, 
kilns and smelters will keep working and they will basically get fast forwarded. Okay then. Uh, yeah, you log off first for the safety of it. Yep. And then I'll close off the server. There. Uh, yeah, log out. And there I'm go. out. All right then. <clears throat> okay. Heading over here, and let's go look for someone to raid. Uh, on the I... chatty program, I can see quite a few names, but I'm presuming a bunch of those are bots since the, well, the, the viewer counter didn't really go up as much as I'm seeing here. Yeah, no, you may want to screen share with me. Uh, yeah, All just I... opened up the browser. And now share screen, OBS, go live. And not, not, not OBS, but this, the browser. There we go. <laughs> now let's see who are all online we have Kenai who is streaming Vampire Survivors uh, the Lazy General is streaming Dwarf Fortress Ruffy Raccoon is again streaming Final Fantasy oh, no, they, they didn't stream that last time they are streaming Final Fantasy 14 now uh, Kiri N uh, Natsuyoko is streaming Doom 64 Pexical is once again streaming Satisfactory then we have a, 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 a Karenai who is streaming World of Final Fantasy Maxima again. And Derpy Do, nice. who is streaming uh, Monster Hunter Stories. Uh, which one specific? Monster Hunter Stories 2, I presume? Yeah, Wings of Ruin. And they're doing their first stream of the year. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Any of those interesting to stream? Or not the, the raid, but English. Hmm. Good question. <laughs> I'm tempted to say Derpy Do since it is their first stream of the year. You know what? I agree. And it's a good game they're playing. Yeah. And it's good. also one that uh, uh, Tatum likes. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Triple reason. Okay. Triple reason indeed. Go. Copy the name. Slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you Tatum for showing up and lurking a bit. Uh, good to hear you're doing well. And, of course, thank you as well, Rakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, yeah, no evening stream today. Uh, but I should be able to do some more streams on the weekend. We should definitely be able to do another Showcase Sunday. Uh, though I'll have to double-check. I don't think I've checked if the ones I have prepared are, are compatible with OBS. So I'll just have to look at that. Um, and, yeah, that'll be that then. So let's yeah, start the raids. Yes, we see what we stream tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> then we could also take a few rests, uh, a, a, a rest day, since this is the fourth stream of the week. Yeah, I was even wondering <laughs> that instead of doing double stream, you want to do one stream or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Give my throat some rest. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it'd probably be better to have a rest day tomorrow. Maybe watch some of some uh, seers or something. Yeah, that, there is that murder drones uh, that I heard a lot of good about. And there is the two uh, Hell of a Boss episodes from the new season that we haven't watched yet. Yeah, probably we can we can watch those tomorrow instead. Okay, but for now, thank you everyone again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then... Be safe, everyone. Watch out for Draugr... Leeches and all the monstrosities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs>